That's interesting. We're talking about Philip Morris over there, the tobacco companies. I mean, it first sort of encourages you to buy and smoke cigarettes, and then it spends money in treating cancer patients. It's interesting, isn't it? Well, to talk more about corporate responsibility in the social sector, I'm now joined by Madhav Mehra. He's the president of the World Council for Corporate Governance. Mr. Mehra, welcome to Headlines today. Thank now, you. First of all, see, the Tatas, Billas, even perhaps Bill Gates, they've been you know, engaged in the social sector in, in a big way and for quite a long time. But the cynical in me says that there are many of them who are doing it to look good and to create potential new markets. Perhaps you're right. That was true some time ago. Today, they think that there is money in it, you know. The whole scene, the landscape on CSR has changed. CSR is actually the way of doing business because companies, and if you name it in India, like ITC, HLL, they have shown that poor are a huge market and actually a source of great innovation and great money. And perhaps... No, 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 uh, but isn't it then that all these social programs, or many of them that these companies are doing, are targeted at people who could become potential com uh, customers. So, for example, a toothbrush, toothpaste company will be maybe educating people about dental health because if they get educated in that, they're going to buy their products. I think that is perhaps a true way because we also want to change this thing. They are not doing poor, do not, you, you don't want to make poor that they want any handouts from you. They actually want to be part of the market because they also can contribute tremendously. If companies go out and try to use them as customers, then poor get benefited, company gets benefited. That is a win-win situation for both. Now, one thing, of course, has to be said that when the government sends, spends in social sectors, is beset by a lot of corruption. When NGOs spend, well, they're not really trained in prudent financial and money management. When corporates do, they, they perhaps spend more efficiently and therefore more effectively, but still, corporate spending in the social sector is just like a, what, a drop in the ocean, isn't it? That is true, but we want to put it the other way. We want corporates now to think that they are not doing an obligation. They are actually adding value to themselves. In fact, we want corporates to think, you see, the companies we try to show as if they are making India very proud, you know, by doing it. How, rural how exactly development. do you persuade corporates to invest in the social sector and how do they respond? How do you sell this idea to them? Because we give examples. Now, what is not being told by companies like ITC, HLL and ICICI, which you saw today, they have made money out of dealing with the poor. If you look at the uh, issue of ITC, they brought two aspects. One is called e all by which they integrated the farmer into the market economy. As a result of that, they saved 270 rupees per ton of soya, be soya being procure procured by them. If other companies also know that there is money to be made by extending the markets to the poor and where both parties will benefit, more companies will do that. That How do they respond when you sell them this idea? I think gradually companies are taking it. Companies are now taking and changing the way as if, you know, the CSR is not one of the fringe activity, but the mainstream activity of the company. Is corporate investment in the social sector tax free? It is not here. Should but it, it be? is very much. It should be. It should be. We should think in terms of giving incentive to what is called socially responsible investment. Of course, they'll also have to find a way to make sure they don't evade taxes uh, through this uh, provision, isn't it? That is a very important aspect, you see. In fact, in order to be socially responsible, you must pay your taxes properly. Okay, is there a case to make, you know, corporates investing in the social sector mandatory? I mean, right now they are speculating and planning to, you know, make reservations in the private sector mandatory, perhaps, or at least, you know, with incentives. A similar thing in terms of investment in the social sector perhaps? We would not recommend that. There is a class example in the UK. Companies are coming forward. There is something called FTSE for good. They're coming. It is better to do it in a voluntary way rather than forcing people because people know how to fill the boxes. If you try to make it mandatory, they will just tick the boxes, not do the real thing. Okay, what about the future? Is the amount and the proportion of money that corporates are spending in the social sector likely to grow? Uh, we think that if we look at it from a different point and we say that we try and engage with the poor markets, the poor market is huge. 800 million people poor in India are a huge market and if we can unlock it, it is going to be a win-win situation for both. What a wonderful prospect. Thank you very much for coming in here today and sharing your views with us. Thank you for inviting me.